guys it's me elise and i hope you guys are all doing well so i'm back with another wig encounters video be sure to check the info section below i will have all the information and details in regards to the wig that i have located there as well as a promo code so you guys go ahead and check it out so here's the wig that i have this is their super fine invisible high definition lace front wig now the lace is slightly too light for my complexion therefore i will be customizing this unit now usually with high definition lace when you glue it down it should melt right in and blend in with your skin's home but the only issue is i don't glue my units down never have and probably never will so in case you guys are like myself and you guys don't plan on using any glue i do have some tips and tricks within this video that will help you guys be able to tone down that lace a little bit to blend in better with your skin tone but right now i'm just applying my bleaching mixture to the lace so we can be able to bleach those knots i did use my bw2 powder as well as my 30 volume developer you guys seen this process done plenty times before but if you're new and you want to see a more detailed video i'll be sure to link one in the cards above um, but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and finish this process and i will see you guys once i'm done Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and tint this lace. Once again, if you do plan on gluing your unit down, you do not have to do this step, so please bypass. But if you're like myself and you don't plan on using any glue, keep watching. So I'm just cutting the back lace on the back of my wig out. We're going to use this as a test strip. Now you're going to go ahead and add boiling hot water to a bowl. If you have a tea kettle, that works perfectly fine. And now I'm adding about a half a tablespoon of this right synthetic clothing dye to the hot water i'm using the color chocolate brown they do have colors like caramel and beige and things that i sort so choose accordingly and now i'm taking my test strip and just applying it to that dye and i held it in the dye for about 15 seconds i think i did two 15 second intervals and i think we have a match as you guys can see the before and the after however i probably should have applied it to my face because my face is a little darker than my hands um but whatever so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply the layer part of the wig to the dye I held it there once again for two 15 second intervals and we are good to go now you're gonna follow up with co-washing if you do need to shampoo the hair by all means shampoo it I didn't I just co-washed it afterwards and then detangled um, I'm gonna continue to do that and I will see you guys once I'm done okay so i know this seems like a lot of work and you guys i'm so sorry i know i'm gonna get a comment someone saying that is just way too much work but you guys like i kind of find it to be a little therapeutic to customize my wigs i know i'm like so weird but i thoroughly enjoy customizing my units now this wig already has the pre-plucked hairline and the bleached knots and the baby hairs so everything you see me doing is not necessary whatsoever but i just choose to do it because you know, I'm customizing the wig to work for me. Um, but yep, I just went ahead and I tweezed out some of the hairs along the front perimeter. That's how many hairs I tweezed out. And we're gonna put these baby hairs away for now. We're gonna do something with those hairs later. I know it seems like a lot of work, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and style. I used a little bit of water and some foaming wrap mousse. And then I just brush through the hair to help clump those curls and just keep it super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that and I'll see you guys with the next step. So about a month ago, I seen this video that Aaliyah J did where she, you know, curled her baby hairs instead of just gluing them all the way down. And I thought it was so interesting. So I went on Amazon. I found this little tiny 
flat iron and I bought it and I said to myself I'm going to do this <laughs> see how it turns out you know I'm going off of memory because I only watched that video once so I don't even know if I'm doing it right but for starters maybe I should have curled the hair first before I apply it the foamy wrap mousse now the other side I'm gonna get together because I realized halfway through um, but I went ahead and I applied some of my foamy wrap mousse and I'm like laying the baby hairs and then I'm just curling the dry ends even though I got a little bit of the mousse on the ends and it was like sizzling um, but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and curl those pieces and I later learned that maybe I should have cut them down a little shorter like I left them too long um, but we're just going to just improvise <laughs> but see this side I got it together a little better because I curled the hair first and then I added the mousse even though I want to say Aaliyah J used gel but I don't know you guys let me know what you guys think if this is like too much if this is just too dramatic in a weird way I think it's kind of cute but we're gonna see how this turns out um so I went ahead and I let the mousse set and this is like the next day we're gonna go ahead and trim off the lace before we get her on Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the wig on. I'm starting off with my stocking cap. I know a lot of you guys ask, like, why do I wear black stocking caps? And truth be told, I don't trust any other color stocking cap. I remember I filmed a bunch of videos all in one day and I was wearing a new color stocking cap and it pretty much exposed me. So ever since then, I never trusted them and I felt really safe with black stocking caps. So that's just a small story time. Um, but now I'm going in with my got to be gel and I'm applying that along the front perimeter. And this isn't necessarily gluing the unit down, but I'm finding that it kind of holds it in place as well as it sort of lays the baby hairs down so that's what I did you guys can see how the unit melts it down it's still a little too light like I probably could have went down one extra shade but you know it's workable so now I'm just going in with a little bit of my wet line gel and just fixing up the baby hairs and in other words just applying them to skin so that it lays properly and disguises that light colored lace and then I'm just following up to touch up the curls because they kind of dropped a little bit um but just on that side because that's the side where I kind of got that foamy wrap mousse on and it kind of wasn't cooperating um but this is what it looks like what do you guys think like you guys be honest with me this is a I don't know moment because <laughs> the mirror is like I think feeding me lies but at the same time I kind of like it um but yeah so now I'm just going to further mold the top of the wig down so that it looks like skull and then I'm applying a little bit of my mac powder to the part to kind of allow that part to just pop and yeah what do you guys think like let me know what you guys think once again this unit does come from wig encounters and this is their brazilian human hair loose deep wave bob this is like perfect for the summer is perfect i love curly units that are short for the summertime it is just my favorite once again this is their super fine invisible hd lace front wig it also has that 13 by 6 inch parting space so you get a really deep part and ear to ear hairline um but you guys get into those curls like you guys have to like look at them i think that's my favorite part about the unit it's just the texture it's really giving me like hot summer day we're going to the beach even though we live in the desert and there's no ocean space out here um but yeah get into it you guys once again use coupon code ALI to save an additional 15% off of your purchases and you guys be sure to check the info section below because I will have all the details located there um, let me know what you guys think about this unit and I will talk to you guys on the next video bye guys